which is good. So uh, here from my focal point, we have Mind Unveiled, uh, that YouTube channel. Highly, highly recommend this YouTube channel. I didn't know at first what I was going to put on here. Uh, Jan Shamanic just put one out. And I'll show a little bit of that. Um, definitely could have vibed with that and, and put put that as my focal point. And I may in a later video as well. But I listened to a little bit of this. And I'm like, yeah, we can work with that. <laughs> we can work with this. And uh, anytime, anytime Mind Unveiled puts a, puts a video out. I always wanted to give a shout out. Uh, a lot of times they put stuff out though that's... Uh, I don't have enough background in or uh, study in. So I, I leave it be. But <clears throat> So I also just wanted to say... Uh, thank you to Danny Skylark and... Angie, Witch Moon, and Juniperus for joining my live stream, interacting, and that <laughs> that was beautiful. Like uh, they get they get that kind of energy. Like that was very much needed. So I thank you all for that. And I also want to give another reminder that um, I don't get notifications for a lot of re uh, replies and responses on on uh, pretty much all aspects of uh, any kind of um, digital media. Uh, and this goes even uh, to my phone. I don't get a lot of uh, messages. Messages that I send out aren't received a lot. And vice versa. Uh, my email is a lot. Of, a lot of times, uh, things are sent or are put in my junk email folder that have no business being there. And then with the YouTube's, I'm not. I don't receive about. I don't know. I would say. At this point, it's just an increasing percentage <coughs> of what I don't get notified with. But I want you all to know that it's it's a felt connection, so I feel the message. I don't need to uh, receive it via the fucking YouTubes or whatever, because it's always felt instantaneously. This is... This is how this shite works, people. It's 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 instantaneous. Once you have done uh, enough inner work to where you've cleared out enough bullshit and garbage, you are able to receive messages um, that are of the heart and have um, <laughs> um um the the intent behind them. Those come through clearly. One of the messages that I received in my most recent video that was not a live stream um, was from Danny Skylark, and you know she she kind of said you know I'm not just here to uh, receive this uh, love um, I'm also here for you guys and to transmit this love back and. That was fucking beautiful, and I sent a reply to that, which probably was not uh, <laughs> shown for her, but essentially I'm like, fuck yes, dude. Like, we're, we're not just we're not we're not just giving you this love, and then that's it. And like Skyhopper, and uh, a lot of us are saying like, it's it's a to a resurrection and a phoenix rising that's that's happening it's happening 
and uh, the the love that we that we give out is being uh, felt and then sent back tenfold. It's it's being sent back with with so much more gnosis and awareness. So yes, we're not we're not just sending the love out and that's it. It's being felt and reverberated back. Even if you're not sending out a specific intention to a specific person, just the fact that you're receiving like an, a deep level of connection and love and intent of uh, higher vibrations, that's being sent out into the all, into the ethers, and being reverberated back. Also, I just wanted to share this here because I, I thought this was cute. <laughs> uh, we'll see if we can get some lighting on this or not. So that is the lion and the bear, Leo and Ursa Major, the great bear. Which, uh, yeah. And then, and then, if you could see that, that's of course seven percent because, of course, <laughs> I mean, as I say that, it's seven. Oh my gosh, seven minutes. But uh yeah, I've been I've been having seven sevens everywhere lately. As well as a lot of other things. Energies and transmissions and transmutations, representations of energetics. But I aligned with the sevens and right at, right as I did that, uh they they're just fucking everywhere. Uh, lucky number seven, right? Why? Why is that? Why? Well, where does that saying come from? Why is it lucky? Why is it low key? Or is it high key? What does the seven look like? Does it look like a scythe? What does it look like? Can you use it to uh, cut things down, or can you flip it around? And use it to bring things up. Is it a ladder? <laughs> okay, so we'll see where we go with this. Uh, how deep we go with this here. Have you ever considered that we are not alone? And of course, over the past decade, we've been fed the idea of aliens, and at this point, it's almost as if someone wants us to believe in aliens from outer space. Just, yeah, so I mean, there's going to be a lot. <laughs> because of the indoctrination system, um, the media, uh, what they want the narrative to be. The alien agenda has been pushed from uh, quite a few decades ago, um, and it's never come to fruition like it's going to, like it is right now. And the narrative that is portrayed is something that's uh, very ex exoteric. Um, it's touching upon things that do not dive down deep into the human psyche and uh, what we are capable of, what we are capable, capable of experiencing, of creating. 
of feeling and essentially it's it's an agenda like this whole fucking shit show that we're in is an agenda to take away from the uh the truth within you so this alien shite is just another one of these uh multi one of these limbs branches of the corrupted trees and seeds that were planted. To have your focus drawn into uh, things such as aliens or demons or things outside of you whenever what is really happening in every moment in the essence and how you create and choose the reality that you see that you choose to emit within that's within and that has been pulled away from uh, you have been hoodwinked into believing certain ideologies to keep that awareness outside of you, to, to seek outside of you for answers, for, for healing, for guidance. And whenever you do that, the system has been laid out and set up so that it is uh, ready and willing to welcome people who, who need help and guidance who seek that but they fall prey to this system and the people that have uh, liken it to a template that has been set up um, to corrupt and what runs this system is people and these people they may or may not, most of them are, are genuine. They, they want to help. They, they want to believe that the system really wants to help, that, that the government is good, but they, they fail to realize the etymology and uh, the roots. That uh, it's, what, 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 are we, what, is the, what is the government governing? The, the mentalist, the, the mentality which ultimately dictates a reality. So the mind control, the government, is a reality control. So you can't, you can't put uh, blame upon the people that are just cogs in the wheel, that don't really know what they're doing. They just are going about what they've been led to believe is true and is reality is real but in fact it is a corruption a manipulation and a degradation of our true roots Now, I can go deeper, and I will into this alien stuff because uh, that that has a big part in, in our past and our true history. But right now, that's not important because what's important right now is for us to regain our foundations and our true roots. I've said this in other videos. We do not fully accept the whole ancient astronauts theory, as this perspective belongs to the Big Bang cosmology, or any one theory for that matter, we're just exploring ideas. In this video, we're going to cover the concept of non-human races from a more spiritual perspective. You could say metaphysical or cold, but we're going to swap the idea that these are beings from other planets and replace it with the concept of spiritual entities. In our ancient myths, 
There are many stories of non-humanoid beings coexisting in this reality. Where have they gone? Why don't we have any hard proof? In short, we're clueless. Human consciousness is limited in this day and age. We can only perceive but a fraction of what exists. We have completely programmed our minds to a world that doesn't make sense at all. And actually, I'm probably not going to go too deep into this because... Evidently, this is going to be kind of the focus of this video, but, uh, the cosmology and the, uh, the reality that we have been indoctrinated into is not, it's not necessarily something that we are doing, like, like, like he just said, uh, it's something that has been set up. And so uh, we have been led to believe in, in all of this in, in, in Scientology. And uh, we are given so many different avenues and different kind of religions and belief structures to, to fall prey to. And once again, this is, all of this is going outside uh, of yourself to seek answers. And you will... Very, very few people you will find that tell you you have to go within to really find the answers. But also, uh, the setup is such that it recognizes the power of the human mind. So it teaches you the things, and when enough people are repeating these programs and these uh, illusions, uh, people start to do it upon themselves. So that's kind of the uh, one aspect of the mastery of this, is that we do do it upon ourselves, but we are taught this. We are taught to do it to ourselves. And uh, as is the way with most humans, modern day humans, they can't help but keep repeating and looping their cycles and not realizing the true causalities of why things are happening to them where it's stemming from where the manifestation of their pain of their dis-ease is coming from and so they seek a hospital or a doctor that tells them Oh, you have this. Oh, you have this condition. You have this disease. You need this medicine now. And that's just going to further dumb you down and numb you up to what is really going on inside of you. I know many could follow this material without this explanation, but... I think it's necessary and also expands the understanding to others who may have a hard time balancing the left and right hemispheres of the brain. We're in a trip. A dream. <laughs> We're gonna trip. And that trip is called fucking reality, people. But, uh, this, this, even this right here, like, this, this is fucking scientism bullshit. It, it really is. <sighs> Yes, there are machinations and functions that happen within the body, within the brain, but it's not, it's not supposed to be split. It was never supposed to be split. There are two forms and two um, polarities that we have access to, and then through those things, we, we intertwine them, and that is the uh, DNA that most people are used to saying, or just the vine that, that is inside of you and this vine intertwines and reminds us that it's it's the unification that is important it's not the polarities that we need to focus upon what what properties of each polarity of, of each side that's, that, that's separation right there We're in a place right now where, yes, the separation can be very, very paramount and important because because of the corruption that has happened, um, the, the two sides have melded into a place where 
we have, we have lost control. So um, this goes back into fasting and looping your orin to regain control. Oftentimes we have to let go and uh, find that center point again. Find that split. So splitting the seas. So that we see what's happening on both sides and then we can reunite them in a clarity that they were never supposed to be separated in the first place, but they have, they have been, hmm, what's the words, through the indoctrination and through the corruption of, uh, and degradation of the human spirit, the human body, the disconnect from nature. The, the human body is going to naturally form these connections in this, this uh, union. But because we have a lack of awareness and um, of an upbringing of this connection with nature and the truth of who and what we are, our place in, in all of this. And, and because of that, we are not able to find our purpose or pure positions because we do not have clear, firm foundations. So we have to go back into those foundations, find the roots clearly, feel them, and then our purpose, our pure positions will manifest in a clearer state. The fruits will, will manifest. And f the flowers will... <laughs> Be able to take in the ethers and the pollens of your cleared mind, and what happens is a fruition from this, and that is a manifestation of the work that you have done inside the great work, the inner work, experiencing gnosis. Uniting the polarities, ice and fire, everything exists within you. Whenever you engage both, engage everything, realize what you have access to, unite those things into a monad, into a central point. We have forgotten the power of the word, the power of visualization. Yes. The matters in which we speak are of spiritual realities, not physical. The modern me. There's, there's no separation. Like, I, like I've been saying, uh, the spiritual and the physical, they, they are one thing, and, and we are, we are looking at different aspects and vantage points of one thing, which is reality. You can have one without the other, one polarity without the other, but it's not going to last because the bridge is there for a reason. We are hue men and wool men because we are the bridge. We are the center point uniting these things. Mainstream scientist is the epitome of left brain thinking. All. All that is real is that which is immediately provable. They don't understand that some experiences must be earned. Some faculties have to be developed. <sighs> That's fucking beautiful, bro. <laughs> that was beautiful. And that reminds me of my uh, my video. 2020 vision is not given. 
it's earned, it's sought after, it's, it's, it's developed. You have to dive into this shit. Dive into the shite and clear away the bullshit so you can get back down into the fucking isness, that focal point. And you have to dive down into the darkness. You have to. And so you finally have that spark of inspiration and the light comes forth out of the darkness into the light. In order to see these non-humanoid beings or spirits around us all the time, Okay, so this video is spread out into two parts. We have non-humanoid beings that used to exist on this physical plane with us, and then we're going to move on to beings that still live in this dimension, just on another plane of existence. And we'll go over how you can contact them and communicate with them. Oh my. Yeah, I can't wait to watch more of this, but uh, we're going to stop right there. Because there's, there's a lot, a lot to it. A lot that we, we're not, we're not told about any of this shit. The power of the mind comes into play uh, more so than you may ever come to realize. This is going back into the times of, uh, yeah, it's just, I, I, I can't go into it without prefacing it a little bit more, um, with, with origin, origin points, um, original times, whenever we first sort of degradate into, uh, fucking with the, the system, the construct. And that's when all of these fucking weird fucking shit and manifestations started to happen. And uh, the, the forces outside started to subtly seep within the mind of humans. And so it is to this day. How many of you have questioned why you have certain thoughts or why you have certain feelings or where weird things come, come, come about and engagements happen? You may feel on top of the world one day and then the very next day you feel absolutely in the gutter and worthless. This isn't just to do with solely with just you. This, this has everything to do with manipulations that are going on. Not not just with, with certain frequencies, but with certain mentalities. And yes, you can reach a point where you dictate your own reality. You become strong enough to where you aren't affected as much with these things. But that's... That's at a, that's at a, le at a level where very few people are at. Most people either portray that they are on top of their game and they are com one hundred percent completely controlled by these influences because they no longer go within. Or you see the people that flip back and forth that are quote unquote bipolar, which is everyone. Everyone is bipolar. It's just to what degree do you flip back and forth between the polarities? Can you 
regain your balance and homeostasis. I feel like more and more of us are feeling that things we are going through, a lot of other people are going through. So as within, so without, the micro and the macro, we're experiencing a dissolving that's happening with the separations. I've been experiencing this big time. <laughs> um, on on levels and on layers that I'm not going to share because it's just it, it doesn't sound believable. So I, I don't I don't have any need you know to to share these things because uh, these experiences are for me and they're for my integration process. They're for me to realize um, the kind of influence and effect I have, even though I don't want to have necessarily any kind of influence or effect. It happens with, with certain people and individuals that feel deeply. It's, it's going to happen and you're going to be faced with, with the darkness. And it's up to you how you choose to deal with it. Integrate it. Transmute it. Find light in the darkness. So yeah, that's about it for now. <laughs> Keep transmitting the transmutations because we all feel what you're going through. No matter who is listening or who happens upon this and who happens upon listening to this. <laughs> We feel what you're going through. So keep going. Keep feeling it within. Keep diving deep. The answers will find you once you really, <laughs> basically once you stop looking for them, once you realize that you are the answer, the, uh, the inner standings will become manifest whenever you hone in on them within as within so without as above so below experience it and feel it peace